Hi, welcome to today's devotion. We are in our This Audacious Life series and this week we're looking at being wildly authentic. Luke 4, 28 to 29 says, When they heard this, the people in the synagogue were furious. Jumping up, they mobbed him and forced him to the edge of the hill on which the town was built. They intended to push him off the cliff. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will able to t- be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing and perfect will. So as we've been looking at living a wildly authentic uh, life this week, we've looked at being authentic in private and in public. But what about rejection? Jesus remained authentic in every aspect of his life. And as we learn to live, to follow him and resemble him, we can also do this when things get tough. Luke 4, 28 to 29 says, When they heard this, the people in the synagogue were furious. Jumping up, they mobbed him and forced him to the edge of the hill on which the town was built. They intended to push him over the cliff. So, as we looked at yesterday, Jesus being praised. He goes from being praised to being cancelled. The crowd wanting to actually kill him, to push him off a cliff. In 2022, advocacy group Open Doors said that at least... 360 million Christians experienced high levels of persecution and discrimination. This was 20 million higher than in 2021. Now, we don't experience this here in the UK to that kind of level, but it is definitely here. Verbal rejection, bullying, pressure, family disapproval, societal scepticism to live wildly authentic and remain the people that God called us to be. We will have to learn to accept rejection. Now, we can ignore the crowd and thrive through public rejection by knowing who we are because Jesus knew who he was. Luke 3, 21 to 22 says, when all the people were being baptised, Jesus was baptised too. And as he was praying, heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit des- descended on him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, whom I love with you. I am well pleased. Before Jesus was widely known or did anything noteworthy, he had a significant moment of identification and approval from his father in heaven. The love and acceptance from his father was never in question. Who he was, where he'd come from or why he was here was never in doubt. Jesus knew who he was and he was affirmed by his father. In order for us to be wildly authentic, we need to know who and whose we are and that our, your identity is found in Jesus. You are a child of God, you are loved and accepted and you are fully known. Know your identity and whose you are. Live wildly authentic by living like Jesus. Have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow.